Once upon a time, only certain people were in sales. Every day, these folks sold stuff. The rest of us did stuff, and everyone was happy. One day, the world began to change. More of us started working for ourselves, and because we were entrepreneurs, suddenly, we became salespeople too. Now, that's an excerpt from the book by Dan Pink called To Sell as Human, The Surprising Truth About Moving Others. Hey, guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to the inside edition of <laughs> Letting the Chickens Out with Jim, mainly because it's freaking raining outside and it's nasty, and those chickens can stay in their house for a little while longer. I didn't feel like getting wet. So what are we talking about today? Well, when I was in Aruba, I read um, six books, three books by a guy named Dan Pink. I read To Sell as Human, uh, I read Drive, and I read When. I got all my notes and everything right here. So I wanted to share with you, though, an excerpt from his book, To Sell as Human. And you might ask, who is Dan Pink? If you haven't read any of his books, he's an author who writes really well on a variety of topics about selling, about influence, about biorhythms, things like that. Um, I don't even know how many books he's written, but he's written a bunch. If you've read any of his books, let me know in the comments down below. Hey, guys, I'm look I got so many monitors going. Um, hey, Kevin, uh, Susan's here, Kevin's here, John's here, Wayne's here, got a bunch of people here. So um, anyway, the cool thing I like about his books is that he often demolishes conventional thinking and he brings out surprising new conclusions that often fly in the face of uh, I agree, Kevin. He is an, an awesome author. Um, that They fly in the face of conventional wisdom. So the big idea here with this excerpt from his book that I wanted to share with you, though, is that if you want other people to send you money, if, if you're set up to have other people send you money for anything, whether it's books or software or services or ideas or speaking or e-commerce products or anything else, then reaching your goals means persuading other people to take the right actions. And the bottom line, what that means, you got to get good at selling because your goals and your success is linked directly to your ability to sell. So how does all of this apply to us? Well, here's the, here's the thing. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever been in door-to-door -door sales. I have done it. It's not a lot of fun. Um, but it is an effective way to sell stuff, or it used to be. But now, none of us are going to make our living doing door-to-door -door sales. Um, we're going to do it through email. We're going to do it through funnels. We're going to do it through websites. We're going to do it through social media. And we're never going to be belly-to-belly -belly with our customers unless we go to a cool event like um, the Gym Boat or Funnel Hacking Live or Igniting Souls or, or one of those. And because we're never going to meet these people who are going to buy from us, we have to get really good at putting words on the paper, having words come out of our mouth. See if you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Um, and we have to get really good at making videos and web pages and social media posts that get people to buy, to try, to fill out a form, to sign up, or to call us on the phone. And that means getting really good at sales copy, which is otherwise known as salesmanship in print. So the good news is though, that learning sales copy can be fast and simple no matter what you sell. So let's talk about three things you can do to put this into action. Number one, you got to focus on learning templates and blueprints. Unlike 11th grade English class, sales copy does not reward originality. Sales copy rewards using proven formulas that work and then you just apply those formulas and blueprints to what you're doing, okay? So it's not about being Ernest Hemingway or Nora Roberts, it's about seeing, okay, these language patterns work for these people, and once I learn those language patterns, then I can get good results. Do you like that product placement there? Just asking, anyone, anyone have this little book right here? Just curious. Um, the number one thing you got to get good at is grabbing people's attention. And that means hooks and headlines. And a hook can be a headline, a headline can be a hook, a hook can also be a question. Um, but that is the single biggest skill you got to get good at is hooking people. If I had to tell you, if, if you could suck at everything else and get good at one thing, it would be hooks, hooks and headlines, because a great hook or headline with crappy copy will always outperform a 
a crappy headliner hook with great copy, mainly because more people get up, you get up to bat with more people with you have a great headline and hook, okay? The other thing is that you need to become a student of what, what I'm calling remote selling or autopilot selling, which basically means you're able to sell people without actually meeting them in person. And at the core of remote selling or autopilot selling is the ability to create sales copy. So two things I want you to do as a result of this video. Um, definitely you should investigate Dan Pink more. Um, his book to sell as human, the surprising truth about moving others. Um, I don't have a pick. I don't have a copy of it to hold up to you. I got my notes here that I took in my Kindle, but it's like, Hey, I got it on my Kindle. Here it is. But it's really good. And the other thing I would tell you, if you want to get good at writing sales copy, make sure you get a copy of the copywriting secrets book. Um, I recently uh, updated the stats on this and found out that we have actually sold over 20 thousand copies of this since just this past October 1st, which is really cool. Um, great experience just on an aside. When I was at Funnel Hacking Live a few weeks ago, I had a bunch of people come up to, to me and tell me how much they love the book. If you love the book, let us know down in the comments down below. But it was truly humbling and I had several people tell me that it was just like it changed their lives, which I mean that's really cool to have somebody say, hey, your book changed my life, which is amazing. Um, so grab a copy of that at copywritingsecrets.com. Um, it really is free. All you have to do is just pay a small shipping and handling fee, and we will ship that out to you. And so I'm Jim Edwards. I hope you enjoyed this inside edition of <laughs> Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. And uh, have a great day. And let me know what you think of this video, if you like the inside edition, or whether I need to go outside and just suck it up. You have to tell me, I mean, I won't do it, but you can tell me, hey, Jim, go outside and suck it up. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Okay, I'm not going to stop the video right here. I want to ask you guys a question. And this is so, so my content's over. So that'll get turned into an article and you guys know the drill with all that stuff. But I want to, I want to ask you now a question. And I'm just, we're just throwing this out there. We're just talking. I've got a little bit of coffee left and I want to ask you something. One of the things that I'm learning is that people don't necessarily want to learn about copywriting, but they want to learn how to sell more. So I'm trying to bridge the gap between, okay, I need to learn how to sell, which means I need to learn how to write sales copy. So my thought though, and I kind of alluded to it a little bit at the end of the video where I said, you know, become a student of remote selling or autopilot selling. I'm, I'm trying to see if, if, couching it that way is a is a better way to kind of hook people and I'm not even sure exactly what I'm asking but I'm looking for a way to hook people when it comes to copywriting in a way that they'll go oh okay I understand I don't want to become a copywriter but I definitely need to learn more about remote selling or I need to learn more about autopilot selling I'm not sure if this makes sense but do you have any thoughts about and uh, do you guys have any thoughts about about that, like that angle um, in the comments. Just tell me, you know, remote selling, is that is that kind of an appealing, uh, is that something that opens up curiosity in you or, or am I just not making sense and I just need to keep running down the copywriting thing? Because I think with a lot of people, when we're talking about authors or we're talking about speakers or we're talking about e-commerce sellers, they're like, I don't want to learn about copywriting, I just, but I do want to learn how to sell more. Um, so Dwayne says autopilot selling, um, you know, I'm just wondering your thoughts as far as that, as far as that goes. So if you could just tell me in the comments down below what, you know, I'm not even sure what I'm asking, but I kind of know what I'm asking, which is, is there a better way to hook people when it comes to sales copy by using a term like autopilot selling or remote selling or something like that? Um, people are saying remote selling doesn't, doesn't resonate. Um, but but you see what I'm after. So um, we'll turn this into kind of a little brainstorming session. Just tell me in the comments what you think, what, what would be the way. Oh, I like that, David. Sell without selling. Sell without becoming a sleazy salesperson. Um, sell without having to become a salesperson. You know, I'm just looking for that angle that will hook people. And I guess I'm too close to it. Like sometimes, you know what I mean? I mean, you're too close to your own thing. It's like it can always point out everything that's going on with everybody else's sales copy of them with mine. It's like, well, don't you just see it? Don't you just understand it? So I'm looking for the hook 
that will then I can say and that's copywriting like you know autopilot selling is how you're able to get people to click get you're getting people to pay attention you're getting people to sign up and you're doing it without you even having to be there 24 hours a day seven days a week and that's actually comes down to something that we call copywriting and once you get great at copywriting then autopilot selling takes care of itself um so anyway passive selling what do you think of this headline uh, dude yeah we'll we'll i'm looking for feedback dude i'm giving feedback on other people's sales pages right now but that would be a great thing to ask inside the group get get feedback from for your headlines and stuff but i'm just trying to find out you know especially those of you who have the book you've been through my trainings and that kind of stuff what i'm, I'm looking for the hook for copywriting that gets people's um stuff um that's interesting. Sarah says autopilot selling works well for me. I was actually doing something else when I heard you said it, but it made me listen. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook on that. But I mean, if, here's everybody is interested in autopilot selling. What is autopilot selling? Autopilot selling means um, people automatically show up to your website. They engage with your material. They understand the benefits of working with you they understand why they should buy from you and they make the entire purchase decision without you ever having to interact with them except to cash the check or look at the balance in your stripe account now isn't that amazing well the cool the cool thing is that it happens every single day and the people who are really good at autopilot selling are good at something called copywriting using the power of words to get more click sales and profits no matter what you sell or who you sell it to. So if you want to become amazing at autopilot selling, you need to get really good really fast at copywriting. Now the great news is that copywriting doesn't mean taking years and years to figure out how to do this stuff from scratch. The magic of copywriting is there are existing language patterns that work to get people to buy, to try, to subscribe, to sign up, to call you on the phone. And all you have to do is apply those blueprints and templates to what you're doing. And you can harness the power of those blueprints and templates immediately instead of taking weeks, months, and years to figure them out. Bam! All right, we can drop the mic on that. I'm going to get that transcribed. And I think that has got some real wheels. So thanks, guys. Great little brainstorming session. I uh, can't do that with the chickens because they're all balk, balk, balking, but uh, I appreciate it. And if you got any feedback on what I just shared there, if you thought that sounded like a cool message or think that I ought to run with that a little bit, let me know. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.